Alright, what's going on guys? It's Valrico here. And today I want to talk about something very important. And that's the variety of maps and the variety of settings for multiplayer maps for Battlefield 1. So, when I play video games, and especially multiplayer games, and especially linear story mode games, I like a change in the scenery every once in a while. I don't like five maps that look the same. I don't like playing... Uh, a story mode game that's linear I don't mind uh, a, a open world game that's um, you know it has the same setting throughout the game like Mad Max obviously it's desert everywhere and then I've gotten a little bit further in the game and there's like streets and it's not just desert anymore but for linear games and for multiplayer you know uh, maps you need to have variety in your maps and what I mean by that is I need some snow maps I need some, you know, urban maps, some urban street maps with some rundown rubble. You know, if we're just talking about Battlefield 1, for, for an example, we need forest maps. We need, you know, desert maps, obviously. There's going to be some desert maps from the trailer. We need variety in our maps. I don't want to just play the same fucking style of map over and over again. Now, this map right here, you know, Savat 311, um... Is almost reminiscent in the battlefield map that we all have seen on the alpha which is I don't remember exactly what it's called but we know what it is it's basically big wide open areas and then some buildings and then a little bit more wide open areas with some um, you know burnt down trees and mortar shells like that have destroyed the map on one side of the map that map looks sick as fuck let's just you know give a round of applause for dice making a clean looking fucking map this was hilarious right i didn't even see this guy at the at, at first i was looking at the roofs because i was there was fucking snipers up there as usual on this map they get up on the buildings and just hang out up there so i was looking up there at first and this guy just kind of ran up in front of me so i was like all right let me go ahead and get that kill real quick but my personal taste in maps are uh kind of interesting i like this map this map's settings it, its setting is so sick trees everywhere you know if you look at the floor like burnt rubble bushes um pine trees and then some warehouses and some train station areas right here and then an underground little area right here i love this fucking map zavod is one of the best maps on the game by far by far um but i would like some desert maps too i would like some um i know that there's one like i went to the website on dice and they show the maps but they don't show the name uh, well i could google the names of it but i don't need to look, look at the names that's irrelevant i don't give a fuck what they're called as long as they play good but i seen a picture of uh it was like a guy standing on a coastal line looking out over the water and i read the description and it said like a coastal you know uh town or whatever and i think that map's gonna be sick one of the best maps in world at war that was underrated that people um you know probably don't remember but a lot of old school Call of Duty players remember when this map was called Cliffside. And that map was the fucking shit. It was on Call of Duty World at War. There was a cliffside, you know, walking onto the right side. If you spawn on one side of the map, it's on the right side. There's obviously some caves in the back. And then on the other side, there was like bunkers. And then on the left side of the map, you had your, you know, your little village or whatever. And then in the middle, there was like a bunker that you can overlook. And then another bunker that was a little bit lower where you could you know walk through and there was like a little temple and shit it was a sick fucking map it was a, it was a beautiful looking map you know for that time period the graphics were fucking amazing the the setting was tremendous you know when i upload gameplay i don't want to upload the same map over and over and over again if i get two good gameplays of the same map i'll space them out for like four or five different commentaries and then come back to that map. These fuckers got disrespected. I had no respect for these pussies laying on the ground right here. I had to go ahead and shoot them dead bodies up. But, uh, yeah, man. I just really want different maps, different scenery. You know, the weapons are going to be on point. I've already seen some of the weapons. I just want, you know, a map. Maps that just don't play the same all the time. You know, I don't... It gets old after a while. And I believe that DICE, DICE can pull this off. I know they can because I... I looked at the, vi the variety of the maps for uh, for Star Wars, which is their most recent game they worked on, and uh, th the maps are beautiful. The maps are they're beautiful as shit. So I have complete and utter confidence 
and their ability to make a variety of good looking maps obviously with the DLC coming out there's gonna be more maps on top of those we still don't know if we're gonna have to pay for them or not because Titanfall 2 maps for free and they will be for free for everybody on all, all platforms so maybe DICE is going to make those maps free also we don't know I, I nobody knows I doubt it but I would be sick if they did that would be you know that that, that would be fucking crazy but you know all in all that's all I pretty much had to say. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment sections. What are your favorite maps in Battlefield 4? Do you like the same maps over and over and over again? Or do you like variety in your maps like I do? Nevertheless, like and subscribe, all that bullshit. Twitter.com slash Valrico. YouTube.com slash Valrico. And I'm out of this bitch. Peace.